Hi guys, it's Cal from Nerdy Weasel, and today we're going to be doing another mod installation tutorial. And this one will be for Skyrim Redone using Mod Organizer. You know, in the past I've done a Skyrim Redone installation tutorial for Nexus Mod Manager, and you can click on the annotation if you want to go there, if that's your manager of choice. But today we're going to be doing all the new updates and all the new patches that are needed to make Skyrim Redone work properly. And we'll be integrating it with a few weapon mods, namely Immersive Armors and Immersive Weapons, along with Unique Uniques. With a special note on Immersive Creatures. Before we start, let's talk about the one requirement to make everything work today, and that's going to be SKSE. You need to have this to make it run, and I would suggest you look at my other video on making it work for SKSE for Mod Organizer on that too. I'll leave it a note on that as well. So let's get right into it and we'll start with the tutorial. Okay guys, here we are at the desktop and uh, let's go over some of the requirements that we talked about first. You know, the first thing we're going to do is weapon and armor fixes remade. That's going to help us further on down the line and uh, kind of change some of the stats of the weapon and armor mods we already have. And then we'll go through the Skyrim community uncapper by a list. Tendo's Skyrim redone. And then we'll kind of make it all work together by using the Reprocker, also by Tendo. And then finish up with Skyrim compatibility and Reprocker patches by Zathra. So the first thing we want to do is open up our mod organizer. And I have it right here. Now you see I have all these things downloaded, but I want to show you the basics of what we're doing here. So we're going to be opening up Search Nexus Network for more mods. And we're going to go get that weapon armor fixes remade and do that right now. So let's go ahead and do weapons and armor fixes. Search for that. Search. And it's going to be the most popular one. So it's going to be this one right here. So it has the most downloads. We know that's the right one. And you can see weapon and armor fixes remade with Dawn Guard and Dragonborn support. So it is all ready to go. You can see your requirements and installation. Official 1.9 update or higher is required. An official Skymer patch is strongly recommended but not required. Okay. So it's going to be, you know, very useful for us once we get to the compatibility patches. But we'll go to our files right here. And you can see the old versions. You don't really need to know those. And you hit download with manager. And everything's working correctly. And it is. You can see our mod organizer is starting it up for us and we'll let it finish up and there we go so we want to go ahead and install the mod you double click to install and it opens up a full mod for us so you can see we have main file and dlc selection is skyrim only plus dawn guard plus dragonborn and this is the one i have skyrim plus dawn guard plus dragonborn we'll hit that install all of our options yeah we'll just go ahead and do that there's no need to do anything else with this, you can see it installs all available options, including true weapons, faster arrows, and dragon priest masks. The appropriate files will be installed based on your DLC. We have all of our DLC, so we are ready to go with this install. And we hit next. And the next one will be if we have a medium sky Skyforge weapons. I do not have that. Immersive weapons, I do have that. Improved closed face helmets, uh Main DLC file. Select this if improving using improved closed face helmets. Nope, I don't have that, so none. Legendary legendary versions of improved closed face helmets. So that's a different mod. I don't have that, so I'm going to leave it at none and hit next. And this will finalize your choice. I don't need to read the readme file, so we're going to hit install. There we go. And it's going to install in the bottom down here we'll go ahead and click that to go so it's installed multiple ESPs activated please check that they don't conflict and uh, we can go ahead and run our next mod we'll hit the uh, loot a little bit later but uh, for right now we'll go ahead and click uh, Skyrim uncapper now if you go to our back to our page over on the Nexus you can see Skyrim uncapper by a list now, what this mod is going to be able to do is allow Skyri to have much, much more levels and perks 
as you go through the game. You know, the game is basically in vanilla mode, kind of caps you out about 9900. Skyrim Redone assumes that you're going to be going over way over that to much higher levels, and you're going to need more perks. Now, the uncapper allows you to do that. Now, what you would normally do is go ahead and download with Manager or download manually, and Mod Organizer would put it in place for you. So we can go ahead and go back to our Mod Organizer. You can see I've already got it downloaded and ready to go. So we can double click that. And you can see it wants to go ahead and have us fix it. So you right click, set data directory, and right click again, set data directory, and it looks good. So we are all ready to go. And we hit OK. And there it is. So we will activate that as well because we'll need that for Skyre. Click yes. Now, Skyre Redone. So now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and go to Skyrim Redone. And we'll go back to the Nexus page. And our next one up will be Tendo Skyrim Redone. There it is right there. You can see it's been downloaded quite a few times. And uh, you can read about it here. Basically, it's a long fact sheet about what it all does. And I would suggest reading all this stuff. And for those people with Dawnguard and with Dragonborn installation, it'll tell you how to do that. But basically, we're not using Nexus Mod Manager. We're using Mod Organizer. But it's basically the same process. If you have questions because you don't have Dawnguard, but without Dragonborn, you can download this one. And people with Dawnguard have this installation. Okay, so there's that. So let's go ahead and come back up and hit our files and you see it's only one version right now and skyre underscore 1.3.0.1 or whatever it is so it's down with the manager and you would do that with mod organizer so we can go back to there and we're ready to download it 1.301 Somebody else noticed that uh, when you install this, you'll get a message early on about 1.300 being installed and getting a uh, potion that will allow you to respec your skills. And then in the old days, you would have to uh, start on a fresh install. You don't need a fresh save or a fresh game. You don't need to do that anymore. With that respec potion, you can go ahead and... Uh, allow yourself to start this whenever you want. So you don't have to worry about that. And now with this one, you can start it wherever you want and respect all your perks. So we'll go and double click. And this is a larger file. So it takes a little bit longer to extract. Now, as you can remember from my earlier videos, it opens a, a, a foam mod for you and you'll go through all the options. The Sky Remain, you definitely want that. So changes to perks and everything related to perks, which is a lot, and which is what we're after as far as the main file goes. Races, changes races, racial abilities, and related loading screens. I do that. You know, I, I like the, the new perks and for the races, and we're going to leave that. Standing stones, changes to standing stones and related loading screens. I don't do that personally, but if you want to read about that, you can see the readme and see if you decide if you want that. So I'm not going to click that myself. Combat. Now, combat makes the changes make combat faster, pace, and more realistic stamina dependent speed, damage, and blocking, direct hit debuffs, and stagger, heavy armor slowdown, and more. This is kind of essential to me. I want combat to be a little bit better, a little bit harder, and a little bit faster. So I want that. Now, enemy AI is the next one and changes the combat AI. It definitely runs along with this. So if you're going to have combat, you might as well have the enemy AI. Enemy scaling, changes to enemy scaling, spell and perk distribution, resistances and weaknesses. I want that. That's all part of these three. Encounter zones. Now, changes to encounter zones, minimum levels for each area. Now, what that means is, as I talked about before, you enter a dungeon. If you are not the appropriate level for that, it's going to kick your butt. In the vanilla game, it dumbs it down so you can play that uh, encounter area to your level. I'm a video maker. I want this to be off because I want to go where I want and have good footage. The Skyrim Capper, Skyrim Community Uncapper Custom Any File. This is the file that works with Alyssa's Uncapper to change all those levels. So you want to have a faster leveling system and you want to have a higher level and uncapped 
all the levels so you can go as high as you need to go. So that level 134 marksmanship you've been looking for, yeah, you can get it with this. And this will change the any file. And up here you can see the any thing. We'll show that in a second. But we'll go ahead and click that as well. Sky Resurvivalism. Now this talks about Chesco's Frostfall 2.0 and the new Wayfarer tree. Uh, we'll add, we'll support last seed once released. Do not use without Frostfall. Last seed ain't coming. It's just not. Don't worry about it. Do not use without Frostfall. I have Frostfall. I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and hit next. And it's going to install it. Let it go through its stuff. We can go ahead and click that to go. And you'll see it's 1.3. So it's 1.31. We'll go ahead and open this up, open information. And if you go into the Nexus info, 1.3.1. See that change right there? Hit enter. It'll turn green. And the mod ID number is correct. We can now close that. And you'll see it go away. Okay. So basically, we are done with those portions. Now, if you wanted to, you can clean up your download folder and remove from view. Do not delete these. It will delete the mod. So remove from view. If you ever want to see these again, hit show hidden. And that's where they all are. That's where all your mods are that you installed. So you can see those as you need to. Now, go to our plugins. Now we can go ahead and make sure these are all hit. I do not need that. See, go down, go down, go down. Everything is clicked. Now you'll see all these sky re files right here, and you'll see the reprocker. Don't think that's the reprocker that we're going to need later on. That's a different file that reprocs all the vanilla armors and weapons. So don't think that's the reprocker. It's not. It's going to adjust that later. So these are all in the wrong order. And, you know, weapons, armor, fixes, remade, all that stuff is in here. So, you know, she don't see the uncapper because it's not really an ESP. So you can hit sort with loot light. I prefer to run the real loot. So we'll go and hit that. Close it and set sort plugins and let loot do its work. And let's see, you can see things. Let's see, there's one sky remain. It's up near the top where we want it. And there's survivalism. And we go down. There's going to be a few more down here. There's the races, enemy, and combat. Looking all pretty good right here. And there we go. There's that reprocker I warned you about. That is not the real reprocker. It's just the name. So we hit apply. And we can look at those details later. And close the repros loot. I'm just going to minimize that for a second and reopen mod organizer. So you go over your plugins list again and you can see everything is kind of what loot said. There's Sky Remain. You come down even farther, you got uh, your other Sky Re races and whatnot down there. And then you've got combat towards the bottom, which is kind of where we want it. And there's that fake reprocker we talked about. So you can also see it moved weapon armor fixes much higher up to go with Hoth Trooper 44's armor compilation. So that's immersive armors. That's what we want. So it's, it's doing its job. So we're good there. So now... You notice up here we have a potential problem with your setup, and that's because we haven't moved these around. And if we click that and see what our mod order problem is, move amazing files or tweaks after Skyrim redone. Yep, move alternate start, live another life after amazing file or tweaks. So we need to fix that. We'll go ahead and fix it now. And hit yes. There we go. So we're basically fixed for the most part. I would move these around to be a little closer to this order over here, but for now I think that's going to work just fine. So we're going to minimize that. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you in game what we've accomplished so far and kind of show you some of the weapon things and why we're going to do the following steps with the reprocker and the sky recompatibility reprocker and patches by Zathra. So here we are in game. We're going to look at some armors and some weapons. If you pull up your items page, 
and you'll see some of the weapons have been redone you know you can see iron arrow is much more than normal and ebony arrows a lot and your crossbow does a lot of damage and you come down to the steel bolts and 22 well you look this steel war pick is only doing 14 damage that's vanilla damage that's not going to work for us and you can see you know uh, blades katana does 32 and you know ebony arrows do 25 and a mace of sapping is a vanilla weapon iron mace and this is probably the clearest example iron mace does 30 but a steel war pick does 14 well normally in the vanilla game a steel item does more damage than an iron one even if it is a mace right and then you come over to the armors that i have right now you can see barbarian armor 27 that should be more that should be you know if uh, the reprocker was in place and everything was working these would all be increased so you come down here and you look at this stuff it's just just not right now iron bracers ranger bracers that's a low to mid level light armor it should be doing having more armor protection and it just doesn't so that brings us to our next point you know the reprocker that is included with skyrim redone does not change the values for immersive armors and weapons so we need to change that and that's what we're doing in part two so here we go with part two we're going to fix those armors and weapons so that they will be up to the skyry damages and armor ratings and we'll go back into our mod organizer and you can see our next thing up is going to be the reprockers let's go look at that at the nexus and you can see this is also done by tendo and it's the reprocker automated sky repatch generator and uh it's basically going to be the reprocker is meant to do this and what it does and tells you all this stuff and i assume you read all this stuff and basically goes through the intro about installation drop the included directory you know all this stuff it's great you're not going to need it we're going to, have to show you how to do this the mod organizer way and we'll do that but uh, what we're looking for is you go back up here to files and click that and it is basically one file on all these old ones there's nothing new we just go ahead and hit download with manager and it would download it to mod organizer so here we are back here and we have the reprocker now you just double click this and you hit ok let's do manual let's do manual and you can see the reprocker needs a, to fix that so set as data directory and hit it again and now it looks good so we can hit ok now you would think that we go ahead and just click this and set go but i don't want you to do that just yet i want you to install the next few steps and that means we're going to go to the reprocker patches skyry so that's going to be zathro's patch so let's go look at that and the nexus and we'll explain a few things all right and we're moving on so the skyry compatibility and reprocker patches by zathra uh a side note rolfin from the compatibility and reprocker patches team messaged me and said that as i was rendering this version 2.5 came out i was on 2.3 that was the most recent i had yesterday so it's a good thing he did so we'll get the most latest information to you now what the sky compatibility and reprocker patches does is it makes a bunch of weapons and armors and you can see them all right here work with skyrim redone including false guard so what we're looking for is you go under the files and we are looking at a couple of different things this is the main file the reprocker patches skyry this is a compilation of all previous patches this is probably the main file you're going to use the most but let's talk about the others the unofficial skyrim redone patch uskrp it basically changes a lot of what skyrim redone does i really don't want those changes i like the way it is right now but you could use this and if you want to do that you can just download with manager and follow the instructions in the uh, post section and you will have no problems there's also the xml edits only is basically the xml file that shows all the different statistics and those can be changed uh, they say you can download it with manager i would prefer to download it manually and manually install it just me 
And then finally, the only update, they said they had a download issue in the crea uh, character creation overhaul for IA7, Immersive Armor 7, uh, needed a patch. Quick patch. There it is. It's a small one. But you can download with Manager and then merge that patch into the main one. You got that? So when you do it up, it'll want you to merge it, and that's the way you do it. But what we're after is this main one. And you'd hit Download with Manager. I've already done that, and it's in my mod organizer. But there's something we have to do first. One of the patches in here is for immersive creatures. Remember Skyrim Immersive Creatures? I said we'd be touching on that real briefly. Well, there's something we need to do. And when we hit Information, I'll show you what we did. If you go into Optional ESPs, the crossbow fix, the Skyri SIC crossbow fix, was down here. Okay. Now, this means that the Skyrim Immersive Creatures had the fix in it. The fix that's done by the Skyri compatibility and reprocker patches is better, and we want it. So we have to take it out of Skyrim Immersive Creatures and disable it. So what you want it to do is highlight it and move it up to optional ESPs. So once we hit close, this will no longer be active. So if you decide that, you know what, I don't like any of the Skyrim Redone stuff, I don't, I want everything to go back the way it was, or you want a different profile that doesn't have Skyrim Redone, but you want to have immersive creatures with the crossbow fix in it, you just highlight it and move it back down. There you go. But we don't want it, so it's going to get moved up there. And hit close. Now it's deactivated. Now we can go ahead and activate this. Reprocker patch of Skyrim main version 2.5. Double click to install. And this is where it gets to the important stuff. So you can see all these additional add ons are basically making a few patch changes. And it will change some of the vanilla stuff too, but don't worry too much about that. And what we are looking for in all this list of things is the combination of mods that we have that controls the main files. See? Yeah, Weapon Armor Fixes, Skyrim Redone, Patch. That's if you just have those two together. Then you have Weapon Armor Fixes, Unique, Unique, Skyrim Patch. So you kind of get Skyrim Redone Patch. So you start getting this, a Median Born, Skyforge Steel, Skyrim Patch. You see, you're seeing a pattern here. Now what I have is obviously Immersive Armor 7, Immersive Weapons, and Unique, Uniques. Okay, it's right here. Weapon Armor Fixes. Immersive Armor 7, Immersive Weapons, Unique Uniques. I want that. But if you add some other combination, and there's a lot here, make sure you click on the same ones. See, there's even some uh, character creation overhaul stuff in here. Make sure you click the right one for that. And then if you want to have the book covers, you'd click the choice there. The Fall Scar patches. I don't have Fall Scar. I may want to go back in the future and get Fall Scar. And then I would just rerun the uh, compatibility patches. And then do some other stuff later. But well, that's not important. Immersive spells and lights, I don't have it. Level list, I don't have it. Armor mods, you can choose the different armor mods you have. And then you go down to the improved closed face helmets. I don't have any of these. And then Gauss's mods, the weapon armor pack, which is actually a pretty good pack. And it's just a little flashy for my taste, but it's a good pack. And the Dragon Priest with Circlet's Ethereum Crowns and the Clothing Color Fixes for Skyrim Patch. Patch for Skyrim. So, if you have these mods, make sure you click the appropriate ones. So, we'll hit Next. And here are some more weapons. These are more individual weapons. They're not really packs. But here's a couple crystal weapons. And you'll find Unique Uniques. That's a separate file that, for those using the Waffer UU series, this file is not required. Okay. So it's a different one. Just read the readme, know what you're doing. Warriors with weapons, unique bows, and go on and on. And then Daedric Dawnbreaker. I don't have either of those. And click Next. And here's your character creation overhaul, races, birth science, classes, skills, and specialization. I don't have this. But if you do, choose the one you want. And then move on. And Next. Now here's what we did. Remember we took that out of Skyrim Immersive Creatures, the crossbow patch? That's what this was. The un you have to uninstall that from Skyrim Immersive Creatures, which we've done 
Okay, we have the right version. You can see 6.5.2 alpha. There it is right there. So we want that. We want that patch. Wind destruction magic, I don't have that. So we don't have to click it, but that's an optional patch. That's the one I want. And click next. And we're done. Okay, this patch has been fully installed. Now, we've got that. We want to run loot. Because when you come into our plugins, you're going to see... Let's make sure everything's clicked. It should be clicked. The pre and post reprockers, because of a previous loot run on this, you can see they're already done, but we want to run it again just to be safe. And it's going to do its thing. And once that's all done, we just double check, make sure everything is, looks right. Pre, pre procker above the re procker, the post re procker above the re procker. That's what we want. Pre, re, post. Got that? Makes kind of sense. You can see a unique unique is up here. But you hit apply. And we can read that later. And we'll close loot. And we will go back to our mod organizer. You can see my desktop is very messy right now because I've been editing video. Pull this up, get a little background going. Okay, there we go. So we'll double check our plugins. And you can see that's what we want right there. Okay. So go back through that. Now, if you ever want to double check this stuff, you can go into Sky Recompatibility Proggers. And you can hit information and your optional ESPs. And there's that crossbow patch. It's done. You don't have to worry about it. It's good. So, that's it. Everything's in its right place. So now that we know that everything's in its correct place, we're going to go and run the reprocker. And what we need to do is go into data. And we're going to look for the reprocker. And it's going to be down here somewhere. Where some weapons? Let's see. Sky, sky proc patches. You can click that. Tanda's reprocker. Okay. Now, in the original version using Nexus Mod Manager, we were looking for this jar file. And it's a Java file. And make sure you have Java 32x, 32-bit version installed on your computer or this will not work. And we want that file. And what we want to do is highlight it, right-click it, add as executable. Okay? And we're going to add that as an executable. There we go. And we can name that as reprocker. We hit OK. There we go. Now, what that did, we can now close this down, is add that to our drop-down on our executable file. Okay? Reprocker. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and create a, a shortcut. Toolbar. And we need to run the reprocker. And it will lock up while we're doing it. And see, it opens the reprocker. There you go. So now we're going to create our patch. Just like before, you hit patch. And it's going to run through its stuff. Notice it didn't run boss. So the no boss fix, you don't need that anymore. Pretty cool. I like I like Mod Organizer a lot. And it's going to create a file that we're going to use in a few minutes. And we'll just wait it out. And there we go. Now, you'll see we have a warning notice up here. There are potential problems with your setup. There are files in your overwrite mod. Okay. We'll close that. Where did that reprocker put those files? Well, put it down the overwrite file. Okay. If you want to click information, you can see that, oh, there's the sky proc patches. Okay. We're going to close that. We know that's where they all went. So what do we do with them? We would right click, create mod. Now, if you're like me and you run only one profile, I like doing, whoop, reprocker patch. And today's date. Today's date is 9-4. Okay. September 4th. And you click OK. There you go. And then you'd activate it. You don't need to reorganize your plugins because it doesn't show up over here.
Okay, this is just a patch that they'll add into the data in the uh, in the virtual file that will make all the changes. Okay, now if I wanted to have different profiles, I would go ahead and name it to default or dirty weasel or whatever I have, and that way you could activate it for each individual profile and name it that way. I would name it and probably date it too, just to be safe. But that's it. I mean, we're done, right? Right? Well, we got to go check this. So let's go back in the game and find out if I did everything right. I certainly hope I did. I'd look silly if I did. All right, here we go, guys. The final test. Let's find out what we did here. All right. So weapons. Steel katanas, about the same. Crossbow, about the same. Ebony arrows, iron arrows. Iron arrows do a little bit more. All right, this is where we come in the differences. The iron mace of sapping is 29. The steel war pick is 32. So before, you remember this was 14. And that was more. I don't remember how much more. It was just more. So it's now fixed the immersive weapons steel war pick. Okay, there we go. Now we come over to, to armors. The Barbarian armor is now 53. That's pretty low level armor right there, but it's still 53. The Blade's armor was 53 before, now it's 135. So it fixed it, right? And you come down to the Ranger Braces, it was like 7, right? Now it's 28. So before it was still vanilla, now it's been reprocked. So all the Skyrim values are correct. We did everything correctly. Oh, I'm excited. So, we now have all of our correct uh, Skyproc patches. I mean, uh, all of our perk sets. So, we have Blacksmith. You can see Arcane Blacksmith. All the skill trees have now been correctly changed. You have a Heavy Armor and all the... And the massive Heavy war Armor field. Light Armor, Bow and Marksmanship. Everything's correct. So... Everything worked. It worked. So that means we're done. Yes, my friend. So that's it. Skyrim Redone is up and running. All the armors and weapon values for all the different weapon and armor mods are up and running and correct. And everything seems to be running smoothly. So if you found this video useful and you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. And I'm going to call it a day. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.